why can I not use the washer method to find the volume? And here we have the two curves, y is equal to x squared and y is equal to 2x. And we are going to rotate the region about the y-axis. And it also says that all the resources I'm finding online are suggesting the shelf method. Hmm, let's take a look. In fact, I'll tell you, both methods work. But the shelf method might just be much easier. So I will do both for you. So first of all, let's just kind of look at the picture right here. So of course, y is equal to x squared looks like this. And then y is equal to 2x is just a line, so it looks like this. So this is y equals 2x. And let's also find the point of intersections. This is just, of course, 0. And for this right here, we will have to set x squared to be 2x and then solve this equation x squared minus 2x is equal to 0, factor on x. And we see x is equal to 0, which is right here. And the other answer is x is equal to 2. So right here. And of course, we're talking about this region. And now we are going to rotate this about the y-axis. So as a result, the picture will look like this. And this is how I like to draw it. Check this out. I'm going to just kind of put down the right-hand side right here first which is like this. And then I'm going to mirror image that to the other side. So it's like this. And then of course, we also have the line right here, right? So like this. And then again, you go to the other side, which is like that. And then for the rotation, just go ahead on the top, just do like the little oval thing to make it look three dimensional. And then if you want to make it even better, you put on the x-axis and then you stick out the y-axis. So it's like sitting on top of the x-axis, which is quite nice. So this is the region that we have, and that will be the solid that we have after the rotation. So as you can see, we pretty much have the, like a bowl, and then in the middle, we have to take away the cone, right? This is the perfect cone. So if you were going to use the washer method, you will have to do the outside minus the inside. So this will be the outer solid, right, the whole thing, take away the, the middle part. Cool. Now, we are going to just set it up, and I will use the blue pen to do this. It's pretty much a disk method right here, and also a disk method. It's called washer because we have like a whole, the missing part in the middle. So I'm just going to show you, if you're looking at the whole thing, we place the disk horizontally, like so. And you will see that the radius is horizontal distance, which is the x value here. Now, the trouble when we do this is that we don't know what x is. But it's not so bad because here we have y is equal to x squared. Take the square root on both sides and just take the positive version of it so that you can get x is equal to square root of y. So we can use this actually. So let me remind you guys what the volume of a disk is right here. As you can see, this is a disc, which is just like a really thin cylinder. So the volume for a cylinder is just pi r squared, which is just the area of the circle. And then we also have to multiply by the height. But since this right here is so thin, I'm going to call the height to be thickness. And as you can see, the radius right here is the x, and the thickness is precisely just a small change in the y, so we call that dy. So the volume of this disk is just pi times the radius, which is x squared and then dy. But this is just one disk, right? We are going to add up everything. We are going to use the super version of it, which is integral. So we are going to integrate this. And now pay attention that we are in the y world. So we will have to go from y is equal to what? Zero. And then you go up. When x is equal to 2, the y value here is equal to 4. 2 squared is equal to 4. So you actually have to go up to 4. And that will be pretty much it. But of course, x is not allowed in the y world. It's OK. Just go ahead and plug that in right here. So you can see the first one is just going to be the integral 0 to 4 pi times square root of y squared dy. And of course, once you cancel the square and square root, the integration is not so bad. And then right here for the second one, same thing. We are going to subtract, and then we are going to have the disk right here. And again, 
horizontally that will be the radius which is dx and then little change in the y that's dy which is the thickness so in this case again we will have to have pi times x squared times y dy sorry and then we have to integrate this going from 0 to 4 as well and then we're going to subtract and then right here of course is integral going from 0 to 4 pi is pi now what's x though well we will have to look back to this equation which was the y equals 2x right and then divide both sides by 2 x is equal to 1 half y so this is the x equation that we have to use plug into here so we will have parentheses 1 half y and then square that dy and of course for this integral it's also not too bad so you can just go ahead and compute it so it's totally okay to do it with the washer method now how are we going to do this with the shell method though the advantage of doing the shell method in this case is that because we're rotating vertically so we're going to put like just imagine like a roll of toilet paper so i'm just going to make a vertical cut like this and this time we will have to measure the thickness like this which is going to be dx it's a small change in dx so make a cut and then we're going to rotate it this way so i'm going to go here and then we still have that shell like this each shell is just going to be a what like a rectangle we will have the length times the height and also the thickness all right so this right here is a shell and what do i mean by that again you can just imagine you have like a roll of toilet paper by the paper right here so it's like this right it sits up like that now we need the volume of this piece of paper first you can see that this right here is a circle so we need to have the length of this which is just a circumference of the circle in our picture here you can see the radius is just x the horizontal distance the circumference it will be 2 pi times the radius which is going to be x later on so it's like that and then of course we multiply i'm not doing the function with you guys i'm going to multiply by the height of this right here so it's h but this is just the area of this piece of paper the shell we need the volume what do we need this paper actually has a volume as well as long as we times the thickness of the paper so we multiply that by the thickness so we have the dx that's precisely the thickness the r is dx now we will need to know the height now for the height right here we can see that it's this red curve the y value minus this curve in black right the y value here so the red one here is this and that's the one on the top so i will call that yt and the one that's on the bottom is this black one right notice this black one right here this portion is on the bottom so yb is the x square and the red one is right here 2x it's above that so this height is just yt minus yb the one on the top minus the one on the bottom all right now we can just plug that in so we have the two pi is just two pi nice and easy the radius is the x so just write that down the height is this portion here which is yt minus yb the function on the top is the red one right the 2x so i'm just going to write that down and then minus yb which is x squared don't put well you can also put them right here but in fact the thickness is what dx so we are in the x world you have to make the change but notice that for the radius it's x already you don't have to do anything and then this is just what this is just one volume of the shell we have infinitely many of them right we have a lot of them we have to add up all of them in the x world so we have to integrate this pay attention to the x value it starts at 0 and goes up to 2 so x going from 0 to 2 you can also look at this picture 0 to 2 so this integral will also give you the volume for that thing